Always in the background, you was in the front. Always in the back of the club, turned up. What up, everybody? And welcome to Batman the Telltale series. We are just going to get right into it with episode one, Realm of Shadows. Uh... If you've never played the Walking Dead series, highly recommend. I played this when it first came hey, out. What are you? I don't. Oh shit! I don't really remember uh, much about it. Fuck! They just came in and just killed that guy off rip. What the fuck? Get on it. Hey, you think he's gonna show? He'll bring the whole goddamn place down. Stay focused. We'll be out of here before anyone can stop us. Oh, you know we come. Be in my city, man. You're in my city. Oh, Christ. Move in. Damn. The hell? Back! Get back! I wonder if that would really happen like that. Gordon. Would the doors really blow off? They're on the 52nd floor. I'm going in. Hey! Wait! Wait for backup! Don't need it. Take the stairs. I heard stories, you know. Sent three home in an ambulance. The rest in body bags. No wonder the cops want him dead. Hey, you ever seen him? Yeah, Gotham Zoo. All the other flying animals. Uh, watch out, bro. All right. Yeah, you saw that shit. Coming for your ass, bro. Look at him looking goofy. Looking extra goofy. Oh shit. Bruce, you can't keep doing this. Is that a flashback? I have to. No one else will. Every drop of blood, everything you've sacrificed. The city is safer now. It's made you a target. And people will keep you in the crosshairs. Until you're shot out of the sky. We can, can handle, handle it. it. Shit! Really, I can handle it gone? and they Whatever need something to fear. Don't let it get out. Good, good choices. Let me know in the comments if y'all want me to put uh, subtitles that? on for the next video. Huh? Oh shit. Huh? Yeah, buddy. <gasps> See ya. Tell your friend bye. We everywhere. Back to back. Back. Buckle up. Like that's gonna do anything. Oh. <coughs> what the hell is this? <coughs> oh yeah. This guy's a sucker. Get that gun out of here, bruh. 
Oh, did I fuck the combo thing up down there? It looked like the bat symbol was full, but then it got <clears> empty. <throat> I know you're trying to create a myth, but be careful you don't turn into a monster. Sometimes you need a monster. Yeah. <gasps> Come at! Come on! Come on! <laughs> Buddy, I almost missed that one. I'm really you tall, you going toe to toe with Batman? You trying to square the fuck up? Yeah. That man oh oh shit. I almost fucked that up. Did he knock his eyeball out? Uh oh, just the just the fucking the glass piece. He beating the shit out of these men. Didn't your mother teach you to knock? Behind you, big boy. He's like, who the fuck are you? But we know who that is. Wow. She's slick. Stay where you are! Watch You're under her. arrest! Me. Well, if you want to be intimidating, you're succeeding. Criminals are becoming afraid of you, so are the police. It's a scare tactic, Al. Just a performance. <sighs> what you got on that hard drive? So far. That We're doesn't so important, belong huh? to you. I was wondering if we'd cross paths. You broke the law. Here I am. <laughs> Cut the shit. The law. Don't tell me that's why you do all this. Squeeze into a suit, tie on a cape. Most people dressed up like that end up in art. The city needs to be protected. Gotham needs a hero. Someone to hunt down people like you. So that makes me, what, a villain? Sounds fun. Gotta admit it, though. You give a good chase. One day you might actually catch me. Tonight. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. You're not cornered, you're still then in the let's open. Let's put you in a cage. Ooh. Bring it, Bat. Bring it, we shall. We're fucking Batman. Watch out, girl. I hit the button. Yeah, watch out. Watch out. Watch out. Crack that eye like we did old boy in there. Shit, I almost didn't hit that. Even as, I thought he was gonna like power bomb or something. It's over. I wouldn't be so sure. Holy shit. Let's go, then we got our, our super, uh, super power, or super bat star, whatever you call it. Pull him out! Jesus! I got him! Wait, wait, wait! Do not shoot! Oh shit, I fucked it up. Oh, I guess not. I, I didn't fuck it up. Let's go. Damn, 
Batman cold with it. Why go to all that trouble for this? For real. Shit! A myth can't be killed. You, however, are flesh and blood. God damn it! What the fuck? No! Wait! That motherfucker shot me still. Uh, the zip line. Ow. The zip launcher or whatever. I was wrong about you catching me. Not sure if it was for my sake or yours. Give up. There's no way out. <laughs> Give me some credit. Actually, you can probably get out of this. Bye, bat. <laughs> wow. She got one of them things too. Oh, she took mine. Wow. Straight up took my shit. Step out of the shadows and be Bruce Wayne tonight. Oh, that's a much harder fight. Don't let tombstones be your family legacy. Well then. Time to save the city. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, everyone. A humble district attorney like myself is not used to such a ringing endorsement. Even one who cut Gotham's crime rate in half. Now, for too long, this city has burned with corruption and greed under Mayor Hill's authority. But I promise you, a vote for Harvey Dent is a vote to finally put your foot down. And together, we can stamp out the fire and save our great city. Oh, he want to save the city. If only Mr. Wayne, my campaign's largest backer, could have heard that applause, he would sh Well, there he is. Fashionable and fashionably late, as always. Say hi, Damn, Bruce. Damn, you gotta put the spotlight on me. Hi, Bruce. <laughs> well, I tee him up and he knocks him down. That's how Mr. Wayne and I do business. We gotta play it friendly. Thank you, know, you. Gotta thank play you it. again, everyone, for your unwavering support. We gotta play it cool. We're homies. Together, we will change. Sorry God. for being late. Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Now, I know this is the biggest mansion in Gotham, but I don't think you got lost on your way here. <laughs> Where were you? I know you prefer the brooding billionaire angle. So the sooner we make nice with the donors, the sooner everyone will leave you alone. I just working the night shift. Yeah, well, then you're pulling a double. No one came here tonight to see me. Some champagne. They want to see the Bruce Wayne, am I right? <laughs> yeah, and I guess. I can see him just fine from here. This shouldn't be painful. This is your event, though. I should be stuff. here for you. It's only a little FaceTime with potential donors. Your face, specifically, with a mouth that's saying, Support Harvey Dent. We're the grease, they're the wheels. And they're rolling in enough cash and votes to help make Gotham a place for mm. families again. Silence is an so option too. Put on your billionaire smile and don't punch anyone. I'll do anything for Gotham. It's my home. It's our home. This will help you too, Bruce. Once I've turned this city around as mayor, you'll be a hero for funding my campaign. Now all I need is a decent slogan. I'm terrible okay. at those. Man, Let's see. You sound like a used car Harvey's salesman. Harvey put a dent in crime. Which, for a the new record, face I for Gotham. Before law school. All right, all right, all right. How about? Uh, 
a new face for Gotham. Hmm? Look at you. It's not half bad. I'm gonna use that. Considering you know, Bruce, I meant what I said. If you know Together, anything about you me, Batman, we you know Harvey Gotham. Did. A city free from crime, where children can play in the streets again. That's what I want too, Harvey. But you know how rough it is out there. We have to shake things up to make that happen. Well, we can start with a few hands. Hmm? Come on. Uh Mr. Wayne, I'd like to introduce you to Bob and Regina Zellerbach. Of course I know these two. Hello, Bruce. Regina here is the chairwoman of Wayne Enterprises, and her husband voted for Mayor Hill last time. I'll admit it, Mr. Wayne. I don't know Mr. Dent from a pothole on Main Street, but I trust your family. If you believe in Dent, we believe in you. After Thank all, you. whoever you support is a reflection on you. And we Nights trust about someone Harvey, like you though. to lead this city to greatness. <laughs> well, I'm flattered, truly, but this night is about getting Harvey Dent elected so he can fix those potholes. <laughs> I think Facts. I speak for half the room when I say politicians are puppets. Oh, come on now, Bob. I'm not a politician. I'm a crusader. Hmm? No strings attached. Old families like ours should flock together, you know. Like birds. You're preaching, dear. No, it's true. The Waynes and Zellerbachs are reminders of the golden age of Gotham. Uh, this city's luster faded years ago, Mr. Dent. Look at Gotham now. Murder yeah. in the streets, corruption in City Hall, that Cape Bat Gotham's freak a... dealing out vigilante justice Piece like it's shit, the wild goddamn west. About Batman, oh, Bobby, regarding golden age, seems you're getting cranky in yours. There's always hope. Forgive me for being blunt, but one man can't save this city. And it's a dangerous mentality to think so. That's how you get creeps mm. like this Batman. Harvey Dent is our best shot. And that's all about Harvey, anyone so let's for 15 just... Minutes and that let's gas up Harvey. Over. He's gonna need more than that, son. Oh, it hasn't been 15 minutes yet, Bob. We've still got time. And don't worry, though. I am but... not doing this alone. And with Bruce's help, we're replacing the dangerously unsecure Arkham Asylum with a state-of-the-art mental health facility to help Gotham's most at-risk individuals. It will be dedicated to Thomas and Martha Wayne in the hopes that their fate will never be repeated. After all your parents did for this city, oh, to be killed in a botched robbery in some alleyway, it was terrible. Way to bring Truly it up. Terrible. Uh, a tragedy like that at such a young age it must have been crippling. If only that uh, deranged man had gotten the right treatment, maybe... Uh, well, I don't like to think about maybes. And I'm sure you don't either. Well, I really thank don't. You. I wish my parents could be here speaking with you too. And thank you, Bruce, for investing in the health of this city's future. You have our support, Mr. Dent. Go get him. We're on our way. <laughs> Not saying I doubted you, but that went better than expected. Yeah, that was nice. It is a night of ringing endorsements. Why does he keep looking mad? Oh, well, hello. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicky Vale. Not interested. And reporter for the Gotham Gazette. This is a private fundraiser, Miss Vale. No reporters allowed. Well, you don't mind if I stay and ask a few questions, do you, Mr. Wayne? Well, you can ask me whatever you want at the press conference um, tomorrow. Actually, I'm here for I Mr. Wayne. I do mind, actually. Actually, I do mind. No press. If you're not on the list, you're not here. Sorry. <sighs> we'll talk tomorrow, then. Mr. Wayne, you've, you've got something on your collar. Um, is that blood? From shaving. Yeah. Oh, this? No, it's nothing. It just, uh, cut myself shaving. What, your butler didn't help you this time? Hey, kidding. Kidding. Watch out, bro. Do excuse me, Master Bruce, but, uh, another guest has arrived. I'm sure they'll find the bar. You may want to greet this one personally, sir. 
Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Falcone's never been convicted of anything, except being a businessman who loves this city. Excuse us, Miss Vale. Hmm. You gotta go. Where's security at? Why did they remove her yet? I told her to bounce. what kind of think he's in? The one that controls enough votes to get me into City Hall. This is the necessary evil of politics, Bruce. It's in the service of a better Gotham. For all of us. Look, at least hear him out before you kick him out. I Falcone don't. Requested to I speak don't with want him. Directly. I don't want him in my home. Actually, you don't want him angry. Trust me. A word of warning, Bruce. Play nice. Or what? I'll beat this man the no, fuck up. I've been up. in the market for a new house. Decent walk up, sky high ceilings, he plenty of room for it. my cars. I think I'll I'm take gonna it. flex on this man. Though the decor offends my eyes. <laughs> man, all flash, no class. Well, you couldn't afford it. Yeah, right. Yeah, you couldn't. Come on, Falcone. Thank you for welcoming me into your home. You're a respectable man, I hear. Refuse. I don't know you. Gentlemen, perhaps we You're will a crime be more lord. comfortable in the parlor. Follow me, if you will. You're like the Don. We don't fuck with you. As you should know, Mr. Falcone, my analysts say we're raising triple with Mayor Hill. Hey, what's... Private audience. Oh, come on, guys. What? Bruce. You'll be fine out there, Harvey. I saw plenty of skirts to keep you busy for a few minutes. Harvey stays with us. A man's home is his castle. I respect that. Seen and not heard. Whatever ah, you... Ah, what did I say? Watch out, don't be talking to my boy like that. Mr. District Attorney here wants to make sure the rules are followed. But in my experience, there's the law and there's doing what's right. You understand? And I'd rather see Harvey actually help this city instead of just say any well. The man talks too much. Chaps my face with words. We're just gonna stay quiet and listen to what this man has to say. I ain't here to chinwag about politics, Mr. Wayne. Gives me indigestion. I got enough of that as is. So, let's talk relationship. Who the fuck does this guy think he is coming into my house? Chalk this for me. Be a pal. I can get Harvey the mayor's seat. Or I can pull it out from under him. Chalk your own fucking pool cue. Whatever happens to be in a gracious host. Okay, imagine. This is me. And these are all my friends in Gotham. The businesses, restaurants, clubs, docks, unions, politicians. I make them all move, and I want to keep everything moving if Harvey gets elected. That's why I came here tonight to your lovely home, hoping to make a new friend. Mm. One who can help Mr. Dent see the light, if need be. We're not Between friends, your businesses bro. and mine, I bet we employ half the city. Yeah, that's not happening. Hey, this isn't a deal with the devil. You listen to me, kid. I know somewhere inside that tuxedo you understand this situation. Money gets money. The risks, the alliances, the hidden costs. Your father knew which hands to shake. And which to break. Don't you dare talk about my father. You're getting worked up over nothing. <laughs> Hell, I knew him longer than you did. People don't say no to me. 
I just fucking Not did. For long. Master Bruce, your guests are leaving. I recommend seeing them out. You wouldn't want to be rude. Heed your butler's advice, kid. Oh, and I'm no longer interested in buying the house. The owner's a prick. And he's gonna get what's coming to him. Oh, yeah? We'll see about that, Falcone. I needed Harvey in there to hear every word of that, too. We're not scared of him. We're not scared of Falcone. That cave? It's me. Put that shit up, man. Why you got that shit sitting out? Why do you... I wouldn't have kept those, man. I mean... Maybe, I don't know. It's the last memory of his parents. Not all of them. Let's see what she was really after. Oh, we need to grab that. That computer should be able to read whatever data is on that stolen drive. And in other news, we are now on day three of the factory fire that will not end. Crews have given right. up trying to combat the Nearly fell off a building for this? The fuck's on there? Still no word on what started the fire. Whatever's burning in there has resisted everything the fire department has thrown at. They're recommending people avoid the area and seek immediate treatment. She took our other Spear grapple. Can't believe I let her take that. For real. Anyways, let's get this dry. That shit is crazy. She was slick with that shit too. Let's find out what was so important. Manor has seven bedrooms, two kitchens, a library, a gymnasium, a basketball court, and a movie theater. And yet I always find you here, in a dark, damp cave. I I'm like more the cave. here than the rest of the house, you know that. Then we should build an eighth bedroom down here. Sure, I can see the headlines now. Bruce Wayne, billionaire, entrepreneur, cave dweller. Quite an <laughs> eclectic resume. Did you find out what that, um, cat woman tried to steal? Well, in the process. What are we looking at? Let me try a different angle. We're trying to decrypt it, bruh. Let's see. This is a map of the east side shoreline. But it could mean any number of things. Money, weapons, drugs. There everything could be a warehouse flows out through there. that port. 
Maybe it's where Mayor Hill picks up his dry cleaning. Hmm. Can't make sense of it yet. There's still plenty of files to decrypt. And in the meantime... I saved you what I could. Thanks, Al. Yeah, the Appreciate same couldn't it, be said man. for the bar. I had to literally pry Mrs. Zeller back away. But you'll be pleased to hear everyone has left, including Mr. Falcone. Before the game switched from billiards to cutthroat, I'd recommend leaving the fist fights to your alter ego. Bloodstains are much harder to remove from a tuxedo. I don't want anything to do with Falcone. Well, he certainly Back. showed interest in you. That's what worries me. For the record, your father despised men like Falcone, thought they ruined Gotham's stellar reputation. Then why was Falcone still had one? saying it can that again, shit about Bruce. my dad then? Though people like this cat woman aren't helping. Is she new to town? I've seen be. her before. Hopefully, she's just a tourist. I'll check the codex. We got info on everybody. Found her. Not much to find, apparently. A few burglaries, break-ins. Seems to lay pretty low. You could learn a thing or two from her. You can't step outside without it ending up in the news lately. As Bruce or Batman. I stay out of sight when I need to. Define need to. Huh? Whenever Harvey calls. True. The guy's exhausting. Well, after the press conference tomorrow, I'll mark your calendar as exhausted then. The media isn't good for anyone's health. I don't mean to beat a dead Especially argument, not but no one's going to figure it out now. Trust me. Miss Vale noticed your injuries, so did Mr. Dent. If they put it together with the incident at the mayor's office, it would undo all the long nights and close calls we've endured to get here. You're in the spotlight more than ever. You have to be careful. You're right, you're right. I should have cancelled the event. But I know how much pressure you're under. I don't mean to add to it. It's okay, I... I don't think we I should have cancelled the event. Right. That's not why I pressed If we that. make a suit that fits me, we can trade places some night. Though I'm not partial to heights. Ah... <sighs> Old men worry, that's all. It's our gift and our curse. One more worry for the list. Oh, oh shit. I saw Oz. It's been, what, 20 years? Last time I saw him, we were in grade school. Indeed. You two were thick as thieves. Oswald, thick however, as thieves. took that role more literally than you. That man... Alfred. Dishonorable discharge, you know he got some illegal knowledge. boxing matches, arms dealing, prison stints? That's a criminal grand slam, if I'm using the expression correctly. Damn. Unfortunately, you are. Motherfucker, you got a rap sheet. He wanted to catch up, but his behavior following his family's collapse is troubling. Why he's returning now, I haven't the faintest idea. Do you think he might know something about the break? That's just that he needs money. This Catwoman shows up around the same time Oswald comes back to town. Might not be a coincidence. Oswald's crimes, numerous they may be, are on a much smaller scale than robbing City Hall. Well, he was always trouble growing up, but... <laughs> it's the fun kind of trouble. You both were. Even though you and young Master Cobblepot used to be close, I'd advise you to be cautious. But I know you can't abandon a good mystery until it's solved. I'll be careful, Alfred. When you see what's become of his park, I think you will. All right, we have to fucking park. Let's see what's what's up here. We in the hood. All right, though we Batman. Well, we Bruce Wayne right now, but we still Batman. Where are you, Oz? 
at park 6 a.m. We'll give you some change, bro. Uh, thank you, sir. We finna bless everybody if we can. Great. There's the statue, but no Oz. He just said he was running late, bro. Can you not read? Go talk to him. Fuck it. What you doing here, my man? Hey. Beat it. Oh, okay. You tough. You tough. Up at 6 a.m. at the park smoking a cigarette. Watch you tough, wallet huh? cash. But this goes through you. Chill out. Hey, you heard him, man. The hell are you waiting for? Go ahead. Try and take it. The hell do you say? Try and take it, bitch. Him. Gentlemen. Oz. Keep walking, all right? This don't concern you, twerp. You see, that's where you're mistaken. My old mate and I have some catching up to do. And you're uh, in the moment! And this is his part. I think that'll do! Yeah. Stay down! Damn. Oh, shit. He got the stick. This used to be a nice place. No lives like you don't belong. Damn. This is my park. Mine. You hear that? Facts. <laughs> oh, hey, Bruce. You've got a little, uh... Yeah, good as new. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Woo! That was a right little scrap, eh? Yeah, a little shit on Nothing your face too, man. Nothing kickstarts the system like a dash of adrenaline, eh? Besides, I someone mean, needed to deal go with the rubber far. situation here. Well, thanks for the backup. But I yanked you away from your bloody ivory help. tower, Bruce. Least I can do is make sure you don't get shanked. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Yeah, it's been what? Two decades. And you know what? I haven't been mugged once that entire time. <laughs> uh... Uh, that wasn't why I brought you here, mate. Right now, I am trying to recognize the little Bruce I used to run around this place with. Back when it wasn't, you know, like this. You don't recognize this me park anymore, huh? Used to mean something. You done grown up. A place that was safe for kids, for families. People came from all over to visit. It's a shame what happened. It was beautiful once. And now, it's a hellhole. Last thing my parents ever built. Ah, this city chews right through people. <sighs> Mum committed to Arkham. Dad ended it yourself, he did. My family's fortune. It's nothing Damn. Else, I know, Alfred told me. <sighs> Sorry to hear it's about funny, that, bro. Huh? Same place that ground my family to dust. Gave you the good life. Used to run in the same circles we did. Hobnobbing parties, round-the-world vacations, too. unlimited potential. My parents are gone too, Oz. I know, Bruce, I know. I'm sorry for it. But I have my own funerals to attend. Good to know you haven't changed, Bruce. You still care about something more than just yourself. Although... I was surprised to see Carmine Balcone at your party last night. Made himself right at home. That oily... <sighs> Falcone was an uninvited guest. That's it. Never want to see his face again. On that, 
we can agree in earnest. Yeah. Bacconi made a stack of cash and corpses a mile high, ruining families like mine. All he needs is a little push. And... It'd be a treat to watch him at pavement. Sorry, mate. This reunion got a lot more grim than I planned. Things are gonna be on the upswing soon, no? Yeah. A revolution is yeah. knocking yeah, right. on Gotham's I don't think door. he's good. And I'm here to let it in. Which brings me to you, Bruce. You see, you throw a rock in any direction, you break a window that Wayne Enterprises owns. As the rich and powerful go, oh, you top Gotham's list. But when my revolution starts, we're gonna smash windows and cross off names all the way down. Like I said, it's not gonna be pretty. It's gonna be beautiful. And I can't wait to get started. Am I getting through to you, Bruce? I've got great affection for you, Bruce. I really do. I didn't say nothing because I felt Which like silence was a you. good option. I wanted when to hear what you said. Starts, make sure you're on the right side. Good seeing you, Bruce, but I got some rocks to collect. Cheers. All right. Do you, bruh? Over here, right here. This way. Bruce, Bruce. Hey, mad. They want to ask me all the questions. Uh, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Morning, Mr. Dent. Hey, Bruce, you mind if we swap cars? I mean, mine isn't fast and the paint's rusting off, but boy, does she have charm. <laughs> well, we didn't bring you all out here to discuss cars, honestly. Now, we're here about Arkham Why Asylum. Why you gotta do that to me? Ever since it opened its doors, Arkham has been a breeding ground for the criminally insane. Its methods for rehabilitation, crude. Its security, lacking. We're not gonna or still, them. those who do get out, or God forbid escape, are even more dangerous than before they went in. Arkham Asylum is a cancer on Gotham. <clears throat> but today... With a sizable contribution from this man here, we break ground on a state-of-the-art mental health care facility. One that will improve the well-being of Gotham and its citizens for years to come. Yeah. And Mr. Wayne has a few words he'd like to say. Bruce? My parents loved Gotham. They invested their blood, sweat, and tears in this city. Thanks. You know, when I was uh, nine years old, my parents took me to see a movie about a hero in a mask. It was a hero who stood up to oppression and defended the people from injustice, no matter the cost. That night, that's where he got the idea. My for parents Batman. paid the ultimate cost, defending me from a man <clears throat> who needed the kind of help this new facility will provide. With this facility and our next mayor, we, we create we a Harvey's new face back. for Gotham. Today, on the anniversary of that fateful night, we dedicate this facility to Thomas and Martha Wayne and usher in a new era of healing for Gotham. I'm a... Uh, 
Sure, you all have plenty of questions about the new hospital, so let's open it up. You first, Miss Vail. Thank you. With the opening of this new hospital, what does this mean for Arkham Asylum? What happens to the old building? Uh... We should tear down the walls and erase it from the map. I don't want us lingering on past mistakes. I want us to focus on Gotham's future. We... All right, who's up next? Oh, Mr. Wayne. Uh, you there. Mr. Wayne, Julia Remark of the Tribune. My sources say you welcomed alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone no, I didn't. into your home. You and Mr. Dent even spoke with him behind closed doors. I don't Falcone's make friends, no friends with gangsters. He was an unwelcome guest. That's all. Next question, please. Please keep your questions on topic, people. Yeah. We're here about the hospital, remember? But Mr. Wayne, this morning the Globe received evidence <clears throat> of an offshore bank account managed by Carmine Falcone and your father, Thomas Wayne. Whoa. What exactly are you implying? Transactions connected to organized crime going back years and continuing to this day. The paper trail ties your family directly to the mob. Whoa. Care to comment? No I comment. don't comment on rumors. Why don't we just stick to real journalism here? Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne, is all your money dirty? Is the Wayne family legacy built on lies? Did you know no. about this, Bruce? How long has your family been dealing with Falcone? Uh -huh. Could the allegations yeah, be true? Chill. What are you telling us? Does the mob shine Wayne Enterprises' paychecks? All right, this press conference is over. Mr. Wayne, Mr. Wayne! How long nope. has your family been dealing with Falcone? Could the allegations be true? Did you know about this, Bruce? What are you telling us? I'm sorry about this, Bruce. I don't know where the hell it's coming from. Damage control is Yeah, they're talking about we'll their ass, man. Everyone, everyone, please, settle down. I'll be fielding your questions from here on out. Please, let's try to keep they're this civilized. They're talking Damn. Bruce, Alfred? I've been trying to reach you. The police are inside the manor. Hey, hey, careful! Put it back. I'm afraid we can't, Mr. Wayne. Why? Says who? This warrant. It's not personal. I had the boys turn the lights off, keep a low profile. There's gotta be a mistake. That's what we're here to find out. Maybe we made a mistake. Maybe you did. Watch out, bro. Alfred, keep an eye on them. Make sure they only take what they have to. Of course, sir. I meant what I said about not personal. We only want files related to Wayne Enterprises. The warrant covers your place, pardon me, places of residence, and any companies you own. Your holdings are extensive. And what do you expect to find? It's for our analysts back at the precinct to figure out. I can't comment. Okay. It's a valid warrant. I gotta serve it. Mayor Hill signed off on this himself. Mayor Hill. As long as he's mayor, he calls the shots. Well, Hill has a history of making his opposition disappear. Rumors and allegations, Mr. Wayne, that's all. But if they become fact, I'll handcuff him myself, same as any other crook. I don't know how your neck ended up on Mayor Hill's shopping block, but here we are. Because Falcone Hill knows if I go down, Harvey's campaign goes down too. That'd be a real shame. Mr. Dent's the only DA I ever trusted to make a conviction stick. As mayor, I think he can finally turn things around for us. For all our sakes, I pray you've got nothing to hide. I ain't got shit to hide. Whoa, watch out, man. Who the fuck did that? If you give me the option to yell at them for breaking my shit, Bruce, I'm gonna back. flip out. Take whatever you want. You, you don't have to do this.
Damn. He gotta have like that flashback a lot. There's no way you just get over watching your parents die in front of you. I mean, he copes with it by being Batman, I guess, but. Bruce? Bitch, what are you doing here? I, no press. I didn't mean to interrupt, but. We're not friends right now. Like, this is the second time you've shown up uninvited. Well, it's difficult to book a meeting with you. Well, I enjoy my privacy. Enjoyed. Past tense. Sorry, but if the press has their way, you're not going to have any for a while. You're just here to get a scoop. Listen, Bruce. A scandal surrounding a beloved family like yours captures the public's attention. I can help you get the right kind of attention. Through my connections at the Gazette, I have all kinds of access. What's your angle? Not all reporters just want a headline. Some of us are old-fashioned. I still want the truth. The Gazette received this supposed evidence like every other media outlet. And it's all hearsay. Flimsy sources. There isn't a shred of hard proof. Still, we allegations like this, they, they, they don't magically appear. Someone is going after my family. After me. Obviously, the sender didn't identify themselves. We have no idea who it could be. I mean, no one's even done their due diligence on this yet. The press saw the fumble, they grabbed the ball, and ran. Not every day you get Gotta to go be after behind it. Carmine Falcone wants me to be in his pocket. He crashed Harvey's fundraiser and pretty much said, hop in. Well, maybe he thinks putting a little fear in you will make you jump. It won't. By tonight, this scandal will be broadcast to every screen in Gotham. Everyone will be talking about it. This isn't my first pass through the rumor mill. I know the damage it can do. Then go on the record. Right here, right now. No! And stop it. You need to get out ahead of this. Your side is what matters, not wild speculation. Stop. No, nah, because I still Turn don't trust off, her. Miss Vale. Oh, but Bruce... Until I know what's really going on, I am not speaking to the press again. Facts. See, You're gonna she just beat this, came here Bruce. and... The Waynes always come out on top. She just came here because she wanted the story. Right. The fuck out of my house. I hate to admit it, but everyone smells smoke. A fire is heading this way. Batman has made plenty of enemies, but my family? We've done nothing but support Gotham, even in its darkest days. All this on the anniversary of your parents? It's not a coincidence. Oh, man. Harvey's the district attorney. He should have told me this was coming. Then find out why he didn't. Because probably Falcone told him not to. A warrant? What the hell's going on? Wait, does this have to do with what the reporters were talking about this morning? I'm in a lot of trouble, Harvey. And I need your help to get me out of it. Yes, of course. Of course, whatever I can do. Facts. Whatever you can do, do that. Mayor sure. Hill authorized this? Yeah. Then the cops raid my house, taking everything related to Wayne Enterprises. Computers, hard drives, files. Oh, son of a bitch. You're the goddamn DA, Harvey. I didn't know about this. I swear. So they He'll just went over. blindsided me on this one. God damn it. Well, that's just not good enough, Harvey. Listen, I'll look into this. I swear. It really ain't. I just don't get it. Why would Hill stick his neck out over this? Just to tangle you up in some frivolous investigation? Because he wants to bring your campaign sense. down. I mean, what could he possibly hope to accomplish other than a few cheap headlines? Do you think Falcone could be behind it? He didn't seem too thrilled after the fundraiser. Oh, God, what a mess. Bruce, I wish I could just make this go away, but I'm not sure if I can. If I get in the way of this investigation, Hill would be able to spin it as a conflict of interest. And that wouldn't be good for either of us. It would jeopardize the entire campaign. We, we need to fight back. Together. Hill cannot get away with this. It may not be a war we can win. The city will be behind you, Harvey, just like I am. There you are. 
Hey, you. Whoa. Sorry, I got a habit of being late. No, no, just glad you made it. Bitch. You are not slick. You didn't tell me you were bringing a friend to dinner. This is Selena. Dinner? What time was it? I hope I'm not interrupting anything. It looked like lunchtime. Just election nonsense. I think we'd both welcome a change of topic. Harvey never mentioned you before. Oh, I didn't really? know what, Sarah. I kind of wanted to air it out. What was your name again? Uh, it's Selena. Are we going to keep it Selena kosher? Kyle. It's a strong grip you've got there. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fall. Oh, right. Sorry. Selena's new to town. I've been showing her she around Gotham, introducing her to You're an excellent tour guide, Harv. Well, if I lose the election, I guess I can drive one of those double-decker tour buses around town. Meet anyone interesting? Not really. They haven't all been as welcoming as Harv. I was mugged. That's I'm just so. angry I let that masked freak get away with all my stuff. I still can't believe I let you walk home alone. I should have called you a car. Did you at least get a look at the guy? Good enough to make an ID. Well, I'll get Gordon down to GCPD to work on a lineup. That's probably long gone by now. Whatever that idiot took. I hope not. These were important materials. Oh, sensitive? Very. I don't know how I'm gonna explain this to my client. When things like this happen in my line of work, people tend to overreact. So, what do you do for a living? Yeah, what do you do? It's complicated. High risk, got time. high reward. Ah, stock Please market, explain. Huh? <laughs> Something like that. At least I'm not the only one who's taken a beating. That press conference? Oof. We've got it under control. Do you? I'll handle it. Someone at my office has to know what's going on. Yeah, they better. Uh, excuse me a moment. Hey, it's Harvey. What's up, bitch? I got your shit. Go ahead, Bruce. Tell her. Let's tell her. We know who you are. Nice to meet the real you. Likewise. This explains a lot, actually. How you can afford the fancy armor, the toys. Wouldn't Harvey be surprised? <laughs> Not to I mention could say the same thing. everyone in this cafe. We're gonna stay, keep quiet. She don't give a fuck about her eyes. Don't worry. I'm not gonna expose you. Yet. I'm not worried. I'm curious about something, though. I do what I do for money, but you're... Bruce Wayne. What's your excuse? I have to. But you... Why take the risk? I think you know enough already. The rest is my secret. And here I was, thinking we were starting to get somewhere. Oh, we get nowhere. You have something that belongs to me. I want it back. Same. This bitch. is awkward for me. As I recall, you took something from me, too. Hope you're getting some use out of that grappling gun. I'm more interested in how I can use you. These people I'm working for, they don't screw around. If I fail to deliver that drive, it's going to cost a lot more than money. Well, looks like you've made like your, your life. No. We've made You're this a cat. Bed. You got and I'm not gonna lie in it alone. You owe me. I don't owe you if shit. If they don't get what they want, there will be consequences. I don't owe you anything. As far as I'm concerned, you're on your own. Ah, huh. I was hoping we could work together. Sorry, I'm a solo act. Listen, I don't have a lot of time. My employer is expecting me to drop it off. Where? Just give it back. The address. Now. No. Give me the drive. No. You are really starting to piss me off. Oh, there you are. 
I was hoping you'd come out and play. Write it down. Now. Give me the My fucking contact. address. You'll be expecting a cat. Not a bat. He's what gonna get to a bat. Fifteen minutes ago. Better hurry. Everything okay here? You tell me. I have my people working on it. We're gonna straighten everything out. I feel better already. Sorry, but I've got She gonna run. pull up to the warehouse so anyway. Soon? Aren't you gonna stay for a drink? Yeah, I already Bruce, had one. Stay for a drink? <laughs> I'd love to, but I've got another appointment and I really don't want to be late for it. Oh, all right then. Don't forget to change into your suit. Bitch, why would you say some stupid shit like that? You didn't even have to write, don't screw it up. All we care is the address. Stop trying to be flirty. We're not fucking with you. You're a thought. Alfred, I'm at the warehouse. No sign of Catwoman's contact. It's quiet. The sound of an ambush. Stay on guard. We got some Batman radar or something. Somebody got fucked up. Damn. <clears throat> this wasn't a handoff. It was a massacre. How many? I'd have to count the pieces. Oh, good lord. Who could have done such a thing? That's what I'm gonna find out. Gordon, Eastside Docks, Warehouse 133. Intestines and shit? Nothing left to bury. Analyzing. It's a volatile chemical. Potential psychoactive nerve agent. Vile stuff. Be very, very careful with that. Who knows what effect it may have. Have the computer catalog the compound for further analysis. As you wish. Let's see. Whatever exploded did so with enough force to obliterate the person standing next to it. But the chemicals themselves were inert. Damn. Not explosive. Well, it appears to have made a pretty big boom. I'll see what I can piece they, like, back together. Dissolve this whole fucking body? The chemical? Yeah, let's take a look around here first. This man's been badly burned. But the Probably damage the seems shit that to blew originate up. from inside his skull. What, what? did this? Sensors say it's an incendiary. Oh. Phosphorus residue. That this could sense. have superheated the contents of the canister. Causing the aforementioned boom. Exactly. Blood. Broken nails. Bits of human flesh. No. Not bad. So it's like it's like scarecrow's fear gas kind of faceless throat torn open. So not natural causes then. What's in your pocket, little bro? Skyline Club. So yeah, you 
You probably did that. Rip this face up. The cop shredded this merc to pieces, barehanded. God. Well, How did they get on the table? That. The nerve agent could make them psychotic. Probably right. I think it was I being a detective. So. Oh. No proof. No. Okay. White Rose. Falcone's calling card. He's been busy as of late. Send the drones hunting. I want to know his every move. Good thinking, sir. Okay, break the link on that. The dead mercs. I've seen these outfits before. Same mercs that broke into City Hall. Oh, they are, huh? Hmm. Looks like a bullet started this. A normal bullet couldn't have caused that explosion. It doesn't appear normal. The point of entry is melted. The incendiary bullet. Find a connection. The bullet that killed the cop is the same type that blew up the canister. Well, I'm sure they didn't find that at a local gun store. It appears military. Military grade. Okay. Canisters were stored here. Canisters of what? It's a cop. The force grows thinner every day. Okay. Not really sure. Can we go anywhere else? Something was here when the explosion occurred. Someone drove off after the explosion. Have you put it together? Yes. Falcone leaving his rose here. This is a message. Dead cops, stolen chemicals. He's making a big move. Shout out Max Keeble. The snipers hit a canister with an incendiary bullet, causing it to superheat and explode. This may have been a distraction or a way of destroying evidence. Cops moved in to stop the theft. Falcone's men gunned them down. That's why Batman's the greatest detective. Then things turned grim. Possibly due to the psychoactive nerve agent. 
a cop ripped up a merc's face with his bare hands and was put down. Same sniper, same type of bullet. Looks like Falcone's men got what they wanted and escaped. And Have you located the shooter? So we no, out. but based on two impact trajectories, the canister and the dead cop, the shooter could only have a clear shot from there, there, or there, and would have contaminated himself with the phosphorus residue. Program the skimmers to pick up that signature. Right away, sir. I want to say it's probably back here. One of the catwalks. Because if it was that first one, it probably would have been too close. And he would have got blown up too. Yeah, look at it. Phosphorus spike. Clear vantage point. We have a winner. Yes, sir. Why we're the greatest detective on the planet. This is the right spot. So where did he go? Cigarette. Hmm. No way. Killing time. Trace mm -hmm. stops here. Then he should be nearby. Found him. There he is. Time to go to work. <laughs> Watch out, right. bitch. Yeah. 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 Don't make me add your corpse to this graveyard. Belconi, why did he do this? I, I ain't telling you nothing. I'm gonna punch you. You, you can't make me talk. I ain't telling you, Jack. You trying to scare a confession out of me? I won't break. Your bones will. Bro. It's true what they said about you. You're a freaking animal! Give me a reason to stop. You know you can bleed to death without ever spilling a drop. All on the inside. Tell me the plan, or I start swinging. Just intimidated. Me. We're Batman. We don't kill. That cab woman was supposed to hand over a drive. Had the container number we needed, but she flaked. We punched so we had to find it ourselves. Uh, container by container. Uh, someone must have heard us. Called the cops. We were told no witnesses. Why risk open war with the GCPD? Some kind of chemicals. <laughs> Falcone wanted them. What are the chemicals for? We were paid to steal him, not ask questions. Damn, he's just... talking. I start here, and keep breaking until you answer. The chemicals! There's some kind of explosive! A weapon! I don't know! Balcone said he'd use them soon! Used? Where? That's all I know! I swear! I swear! I told you everything I know! You're an animal! <laughs> we'll let him go. We're not gonna break this up. Jesus Christ. These are cops. Get an ambulance in here. You're gonna need to call the coroner instead. Uh, He's from Goya. Send a cleanup unit to the docks. Warehouse 133. We're gonna bounce. <laughs> I'm not sure how they tried to kill feel. me. Who tried to kill you? The... that man.
Watch out. You're taking this too far, Bruce. How am I taking it too far? We didn't we didn't kill the guy. We didn't break his arm. We didn't fuck him up. We punched you him. the persona of a bat, like one time. But you're not an animal. You beat that man half to death. No, we didn't. We literally did not even Your fucking beat him half to death. This way. We punched him one time. And neither did I. I don't want to hear. I've heard this before, Alfred. Well, my words pass straight through you. There used to be a difference between Batman and the criminals he locked up in Arkham. That I fucking punched shrinking. them. I didn't even break his Especially arm. Especially now, during this preposterous like, attack what? on your family, you must show the world the true nature of a Wade. Giving everything to the city and then being murdered for it? My thoughts exactly. Every time you leave this cave. Damn. You're a good man, Bruce. Good, just like your parents. Don't lose that. I don't mean to be a doddering old fool on the subject. Trust me, I won't lose my way. We're just finding it's our quite way. It's understandable to stray from the path now and again. So long as you can find your way back. You bury the person, Bruce, but you never bury the memory. Sometimes I wish I could. That night, that alleyway, it made me who I am. I can't get it out of my head. That is your gift and your curse. Being Batman can allow you to turn back the tide of treachery that's reached this city's shores or drown you in its sorrow. When you doubt your fate, remember why you started all this. Remember that boy in the alley. I won't forget. Neither will I. I haven't fucked up. Well, Who would have ripped him up? Back into the fray again. Oh, looks like that egg finally cracked. And inside, Mayor Hill was hiding more than I could have imagined. This is a complete Damn. manifest of Carmine Falcone's criminal organization. What in the world was Hill doing with all this? Illegal arms dealing, drug running, mob hits, money laundering. Falcone's been involved in everything. This is an insurance policy. Hill could expose Falcone if he didn't play along. That would explain why he's never made a move against him. Thanks. Sure as hell better than any bodyguard. This is it, Alfred. With this proof, we can finally knock out Falcone's organization. Where would we possibly begin to dismantle it? This is a police matter. There's only one cop we can trust to handle this evidence correctly. Lieutenant Gordon. He can mobilize the entire police force against Falcone. What about that reporter from the Gazette? Vicky. What about him? Yes, uh, Miss Vale. She could release this evidence through proper channels. I suppose it comes down to who you want to help most. Or who you think could do the most good. Hmm. Vicky's a reporter. She could she could let's let's think about this for a second before we pick. She's a reporter. She could give it to the news outlets and shit. And it'd probably get us on her good side if we need a favor from her. Even though we don't fuck with her, it could still be good to have a favor from her. Gordon. Gordon kind of does things by the books. It would also be good to have a favor with him too. But then again, he does things by the books. I don't know if it would give us a favor for him. He'd be like, thanks for doing the right thing. Uh, and he was finna blast on us as Batman. Right? Mm, 
Well, because this is a decision as Bruce, not a decision as Batman. As Bruce, we haven't been really fucking with Vicky. So, let's just. The cops are on the front lines of this war. Yeah. Gordon needs this more than anyone. A wise decision, sir. We'll attack Falcone on two fronts tonight. Gordon through the police. And Batman by any means necessary. Whatever Falcone is planning, it ends tonight. Back. He's a spider, Bruce. Eyes everywhere. A dense web of goons poised to trap you. No one has ever managed to bring him down. I haven't tried yet. This is a silver bullet, and it's gonna put Falcone down once and for all. Yeah. I don't even want to know where you got this. No, you don't. Still, I gotta know one thing. Why give this to me? Don't get me wrong. I appreciate the hell out of this. Everyone on the force will too. Mm. We've been looking for this kind of firepower for Falcone. years. This isn't about politics. Gotham is safer with Falcone off the streets. It's a first step in the marathon to fix this city. You know, as much as I appreciate you calling me here, I gotta make one thing crystal. I can't be bought. So you should know this isn't gonna change a thing about the investigation of your family. I didn't expect Wayne's it always to. supported the Gotham police. So I like to believe there's no cloaks or daggers hidden in your closet. There are no strings attached. I just want Falcone gone. You and me both. I'm tired of staring at his mugshot. Damn, he must want to bring him in bad. He just staring go. at the mugshot. Can't save from a crime scene. Haven't been home yet. Sometimes I think this whole city's a crime scene. We're just walking through it. What you're we holding are. will make walking it much safer. Thanks, Bruce. Well, Lieutenant. Hey, stick to Jim. Okay, we on a first name basis now. We got some respect with them. It's done. Good. So is our hunt. The drones located Falcone downtown, a place called the Skyline Club. Though you're not dressed for that kind of party. Well, I can always change in the car. He didn't have to shoot out the alley like that. He could have crossed the wreck. Let's go. We finna beat the shit out of all these motherfuckers, man. The drone's cameras and scanning tech are fully functional. Let's find Falcone. All right. Did he a baller? Nothing here. Uh <laughs> That's where he's gotta That's be using his office. Guarded door in the building. Gotta be Falcone's hideout. Well, it won't be as easy as ringing the doorbell. No, it won't. She's looking guns. right at the drone. 
stealth not an option. For this Put guy, plan of attack. Stand by. Okay. The couple of options for taking this guy down. If we want to do coffee table. The folding screen. Let's slam this motherfucker in a coffee table. Oof. Yeah, we like that. Yep. Alright, this one. What about this guy? Let's see. Oh, we got the hanging light. Please tell me we... Just chunk that shit at him. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Where's these other goofy ass motherfuckers at? This one? Let's see. What we got for you? Okay, there's one. Probably slam his face in there or something. The staircase. What's that looking like? Oh, yeah. We're gonna fuck the club up. How do they not see the drone? This one might be tricky. Any ideas? I've got it covered out. We just go up to the ledge. Or the balcony. Hmm. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? No. Not yet. I want to do the other. Reactivating drone cameras. Ready when you are. I want to. I want to do this one for this guy. It's just throwing them in the rails. I don't know. Let's see what this one is. We throw them into the balcony. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? No. Not yet. We're gonna go. We're gonna do the rails. Ready when you are. Yes. Okay. Bruce, have you formulated your plan of attack? Yes, sir. I'm going in. Very good, sir. Your turn to crash his party. All right, let's see it. Let's see this shit. With a big kick, smack his head against that shit too. Oh, he threw him in there. Right through the stairs. Damn. I almost missed that. Bro, that man is dead. That man is fucking dead. That head trauma? Yeah, there's no way his brain is bleeding right now. There ain't no way. Yeah. Oh. Shit, I almost fucked up. Get that fucking gun out of here, bitch. I'm Batman. Yeah. Where Falcone at? I'm gonna disrespect him and call him Falcone. You're not even your name. Oh shit! You don't kill your own guys, you fucking idiot. Show yourself. I got you my super, bro. I 
thought it was gonna pull him to the ground. How about this one? They can't sneak up on me. The oh the TV? I, you know who my lord. Oh, what's this one? What's this one? What's this one? What's this one? The business, fireplace. Ah! Yo, you ah! going in the fireplace, bitch. Stay down, Falcone. We can end this now. You got a lot to learn, kid. That motherfucker got an automatic mini gun in his office. Explosives armed. Fire when ready. Damn. Spare yourself the pain, old man. Yeah, I've been through worse. I don't fucking think so. The Kalins! Where are they? What? I found your calling card at the docks. The White Rose. You think I wanted to lead you here? Yeah, something reeks about this old thing. And it ain't a dead bat. Out, bro. He's still trying. Still want to play games? We're all being played in, couldn't you? Those chemicals get so riled up about. They're mine, all right? But someone is trying to cut me out of the deal because I did not make that mess at the dock. Then who did? No, with that. Gotham's watching now. Go ahead, give him a show. I'll be walking free by tomorrow morning. We just arrested him. Because I don't want them to think negatively it, about Batman. It. Well, you still can. <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> They're behind all this. What do you mean? You're lying. You want to save this city? Well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> Alfred, what the hell? Grab the picture and go. Thanks for the assist. Now we only have to take one of you down. Open fire! Watch out. Damn. Damn. What did he mean by that? Fire and smoke could reportedly be seen from street level. Tonight, the Skyline Club, a high-rise mafia hangout in downtown Gotham, was the arena for a clash between the notorious Batman and alleged mob boss Carmine Falcone, yeah. who was found dangling over a 50-story drop. Bet Falcone loved that view. Though I'd say the crime boss getting his is well overdue, Falcone has slipped through the law's grasp for years. But after this dramatic arrest and evidence released by the GCPD's oh, Lieutenant yeah. Gordon, Falcone's going away for a long, long time. For real. And speaking of newly uncovered criminal dealings, this Good brings thing we me gave to the story to, uh, everyone to is talking about. The Wayne family. 
For generations, the big W on the Wayne Enterprises Tower was a reassuring sight. You knew that there was something pure at the heart of Gotham. And this city, for all its faults, was built by good people. But with Thomas and Martha's shining reputation called into question, we no longer have such assurances. And even worse, it seems the apple hasn't fallen far from the tree. Gotham's greatest son, Bruce Wayne, seen here in the company of gangsters, may be just as crooked as his parents. Wayne even refused to go on record when asked to defend his family's legacy. In a world where the Waynes are golden families, there's, there's corrupt, nothing to defend. We left with? Because I who didn't do Gothamites anything wrong. I don't need to defend the supposed hero Batman. Only time will tell. Meanwhile, we'll keep digging for the truth. But the prominent feeling throughout Gotham is that the Waynes time in the sun is ending. This entire cave. Master Bruce? Everything I built. I created all of this because I didn't want any more innocent people to die. If Falcone's telling the truth about my parents, then what the hell did we do this for? Bruce, I... What have you been hiding from me? Bax, you know all right. right. If we the bad guys, say we the bad guys, Alfred. Don't fucking make me play dress up and shit and be a vigilante if it's all for nothing. Let's see. Okay. Let's see the choices. Did you stick up for Harvey in front of Falcone? 67% of players invited, uh, oh, defied Falcone by inviting Harvey. Oh, okay, nice. So we, um, we didn't do the popular one. People actually chose uh to give her a story. Uh, we picked the popular one on that one. Yeah, cause why? Okay, on this one, why would we give it to Vicky? Can, can you guys? If you made it this far, leave a comment down below on like why would it even make sense to give that shit to Vicky? Uh oh shit. Um oh yeah, cuz I mean Gotham was recording, right? So like they were watching all that shit. We want to be in the good light with Batman. And uh, with Bruce. So, with that being said, I hope you guys liked it. Leave a like if you did. Sub if you're new. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And whether you guys like it or not, we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.